legislature is going to have a whole host of changes to the state's education system to consider. All is laid out in Governor Sandoval's State of the State Address. Ariana Bennett sat down with the state superintendent of public instruction to discuss some of the most surprising proposals. Ari, there were a few of them. Yeah, there were, Wendy. Now, yesterday we went over some of the program additions and funding allocations that Sandoval mentioned in his address. Tonight we're going to look at some of the other major announcements that could mean big changes for the system overall, starting with the proposal to create a non-location specific school district for underachieving schools, headed of course by Pedro Martinez. Now, I asked Dale Urquiaga if he had concerns that issues from Martinez's parting with Washoe County School District would follow him to this new position. Absolutely not. Pedro um, is a good, dedicated public servant who has worked in Clark County and has worked in Washoe County. That's critical to us. Urquiaga went on to clarify that this position will be paid for using grant money and donations, so no taxpayer dollars. And he told me it was in part due to the Martinez school board issue that the governor is proposing a change to consider appointing rather than electing local school boards. And they want an avenue to change the district lines to make the student populations within Nevada's school districts more equal. The legislature drew the lines before I was born and that's the system that is left in place. So what we want to do is have a pathway so that local governments, counties, cities, school districts have the right to step up and, and suggest changes. Well, if you'd like to watch the full interview, tune in or set your DVR for Face the State this weekend. It's airing tomorrow at 4.30 and 4.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. on Sunday at 2.30 and 6.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. as well. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News. Ari